so we are now at uh, in between phase one and phase two. And uh, as you can see, uh, the topsoil here almost done. I think uh, more or less the rest will be done for our priority one. We are at about 50%. Uh, and uh, our target to complete priority one was March. But uh, we have to uh, understand circumstances uh, will allow us to finish it in May. And uh, my instructions is that it has to be done because the people are waiting. When this project was begun, we had uh, approval rating in our survey by the people of some 97%. So I hope you understand what the people are waiting for. And uh, we do not want any more delays, but sometimes uh, due to circumstances beyond our control, we cannot uh, deliver according to time. I mean, the main thing was the pandemic and uh, this project was in the middle of it all. But uh, now that uh, that is over, we hope that it can proceed smoothly and I'm very confident it can. Saya yakin project Gurney Wharf yang adalah satu projek uh, untuk uh, manfaat uh, semua rakyat bukan saja Pulau Pinang tetapi yang datang daripada luar negeri dan juga daripada antarabangsa ia akan jadi satu ikon dan uh, untuk negeri Pulau Pinang saya gembira datang hari ini untuk lihat pada status dia dan kita boleh lihat bahawasanya di sini top soil pun sudah pun selesai di situ pun kita boleh lihat beberapa komponen yang lain yang tadi saya ada di skate park yang sudah pun sedang uh, uh, diselesaikan there are many components that are moving at a rapid pace and let me give that commitment by the state government of Penang that we will ensure it is delivered because that is what we always commit to and the most important thing is this facility is for the people it is a green lung which is part and parcel of our Penang vision 2030 that is going to be a green smart family focused state and it all happens here we will be green it will be very very family focused for sure because all of you i will invite all of you to bring your children once it's done at least priority one which is very soon and i've also instructed that all facilities be smart in nature even our lavatories we have to be green in nature it already is happening everywhere else so they have been instructed to do that that is just one example apart from all our kiosks you will have many many kiosks uh, that will be serving uh, beverages and food and so forth around the area we are also looking at uh, priority one and priority two perhaps we might include certain other components which uh, after discussion with the relevant stakeholders i will make the relevant announcements because this is going to become an icon of malaysia not of penang of malaysia that is what we want and it is going to happen right here and uh, Thank you to my team, uh, Mr. Gore from JKR, the entire team, uh, architects and all the consultants, uh, Juan Barati from CMI. It's not been an easy journey, but we are here now. And uh, the journey continues until it is completed, which we hope. That's why I'm here this morning after discussion with all uh, uh, parties. We hope that uh, the deadline will be no longer than middle of this year for priority one to be completed but you can see they are working hard and uh, i would like to thank them all for their very very hard work so pinang boleh all of you congratulations pinang boleh kita boleh thank you very much okay any questions
Maybe Pon Bharati, you want to say a few words? You're okay. Okay. Mr. Gore, anything to say? Uh, the contractors, we are all working very hard lah, uh, to achieve the, the, the target date for priority one. So hopefully everyone uh, can work hand in hand to, to complete the priority one uh, according to Sherry. So, thank you. There is a big yeah. delay on priority one, right? Sorry? There is a big delay on the priority one. Yeah, about one, two right? months. For two months. Right? Delay for two months. Right? Supposed to complete in March, okay. but uh, about two months. So we are looking at May, June. Yeah. So uh, any any reason of the delay? Uh, is there any reason for the delay? Because I think the... supply, material supply. You know, the whole world is uh, having that issue. Not just for a project like this. Every housing project as well. Uh, even affordable housing. You understand that uh, there is a site. It is a, a what do you call a, a domino effect when when we have that problem, uh, all suppliers of materials, other other requirements will be delayed as a result. So I think these two months, uh, in fact, pandemic was the worst. Uh, and now we have these two months because the commitment was March. So the two months is uh, something to be expected. So I'm here to to inform Penangites. Project is on. It will happen. We can do it. Penang can do it. We will do it. Matter of time. So I'm here just to assess the status and to uh, remind everyone that this is uh, our priority. That's why I named it priority from the very beginning. And it is a priority not for me, not for the state government, but for the people of Penang and the people of Malaysia who will come and, and internationals who will come here to enjoy the facility because this is what we are committed to do and we will deliver that. Any other questions? Maybe can we just announce why we? JKR has already uh, advertised the tender for the NSC for the marine engineering. And that was advertised on 19th of January. And the tender will be closed on 9th of March this month. So 9th of February will be the briefing by JKR. So the tender is closing on 9th March 2023. We hope a lot of contractors can participate for this uh, tender. This for priority two. Yeah. So we have several priorities, many components on this side many components on this side. This side, this side will finish in a couple of months. This side, we hope, will finish by 2024. The first half of it, hopefully. So you will have the entire new Astaka here together with several other components. And we are working on many other components as well, which we will surprise all of you very soon, hopefully, uh, with an announcement. But let's get things done one at a time. So this will complete and I'm here to uh, assess, monitor the status and the situation and remind all that this is a priority for the state. Hence, we call it priority. Thank you very much. Any other questions? There's none. Thank you very much for coming. Have a good day.